Peace, y'all. What's going on? It's your boy James Craze Billings, also known as Craze the King of Content. And welcome to the very first episode of Hip Hop It Don't Stop. Now, what we're going to talk about today is the most influential hip hop battles of all time. So, what makes an MC battle tested? Is it his bars? Is it his resilience? Is it his wit? Is it his confidence? MCs are mental warriors proving that hip hop is a contact sport. Now, aggression is nothing new to the game, so let's take a trip down memory lane. Let me set the tone. It's a Christmas celebration at the world famous and legendary Harlem World Nightclub. The year is 1981, and the chief rocker Busy B is on the stage doing his one two, working the crowd and getting a lot of crowd participation. Manhattan Boogie Down Bronx, I need everybody cooperation right about this time. Come on, give me a soul clap. clap. Hands, come on, everybody, come on, clap hands. I want to ask you a question. I want to know, is Manhattan in the house? Is the Bronx in the house? Is the Shaq crew in the house? Come on, clap hands. Come on, everybody, come on. Nobody can do it like this AJ can. Come on, all right now, come on now. I want everybody clap. Cool Mo D is in the cut waiting his turn. But when it was his time to flow, he let them lyrics go with force and punctuation. Don't worry about it, DJ Lee, on the place to be. We gonna get a little something one, straight two, in the one, place two, to one, be. Two, one, two, My man, one, Busy two. B, Starsky. How many people think Busy B, Starsky rocked the house? Yeah. I hear that in the place to be. Yeah. But if y'all notice it or not, you know, I heard a lot of shit. You know, Busy B's popping shit, saying he'll take out any MC and all that. Do I give it to the man. He know how to rock the crowd. But when it come to having rhyme, no way he can fuck around. And I'm gonna prove that right now. One for the treble, two for the bang. Come on, Busy Lee, and let's rock the plane. <laughs> One, two, one, two, doing the do now. Hold on, busy B, I don't mean to be bold, but put that ball did it, ball bullshit on hold. We gonna get right down to the nitty grit. Gonna tell you a little stuff why you ain't shit. And it ain't an empty top that you don't hug. You even bitch your name from the love bug. And not a fight a nigga's name, it's a low down shut shit. Up, shut up. If you was money, man, you'd be counterfeit. I gotta give it to you though, you can rock. But everybody know you're on the furious jock. And I remember busy from the olden times when my man Hooney G used to sell your rhymes. Remember that? Now, this battle between Busy B and Kumo D is noted as the first hip hop battle that reached and touched the masses. Every time I hear it, I throw a fit. Party after party, the same old shit. Record after record, rhyme after rhyme. Always want to know your zodiac sign. He changed the shit to the favorite gene. Come on, Busy B, tell me what that means. Hold on, brother man, don't you say nothing. See, there was no label wars back then. These legendary battles would circulate through New York City, through cassette tape and hood folklore. How can I take a title you ain't got? You're not number one, you're not even the best. And you can't win no real MC contest. Now, even though Busy B got the short end of the stick that night, he didn't even have any animosity. He said, and I quote, I'm on Mo D's dick. Now, that's not my words. Those are his. Now, Cool Mo D, being no stranger to battle rap, he ended up battling LL Cool J. You can never in your wildest dreams get a piece of this gangster lean straight for queen. Strong as liquor that be seen in a limousine name getting done without Vaseline. Ice-T and MC Hammer. Busy B also secured his time in history on July 3rd at the same legendary nightclub where him and his crew, the Fantastic Five, battled the Cold Crush Brothers. What's up, fly guy? Hello, fly girl. It's the big throw down. Oh, that's Harlem World. The Cold Crush Four. Versus Fantastic Five. And they ain't no comp. We'll eat them alive. Because we're the best. And when it comes to rapping. And like the fly said, it was bound to happen. Well, the time has come. And let the battle begin. And let the crowd be the judge. Our food wins. Because we don't need tuxedos. Because we gonna do. It's all Kevin and not and Master Robin with and Ruby D like we always do. Hey, what? Yes, y'all. Yes, y'all. Yes, y'all. You know the song is fresh now. Press it out. Hey, y'all. 
Yes, it's true. The frog got a brand new song for you. Now let's fast forward to the first wax attack that I'm familiar with, and that's UTFO and Roxanne Shantae. Yo, MD. Yeah, what's up, man? They know that girl they call Roxanne. Well, my name is Roxanne. I don't say no. I just a cold rock, a party, and I do this show. Then I met these three guys, and you know it's true. Now let me tell you and explain them all to you. I met this dude with the name of a hat. I didn't even walk away. I didn't give him no rest. Now, some of you guys may be familiar with Roxanne Shantae from XM Radio, if you have it. She's on the Rock the Bell Show, along with my man, Cool V. Now, most people say Roxanne Shantae won that UTFO battle, but Roxanne Shantae was part of a bigger outfit of MCs called the Juice Crew. And one of her members had a grudge match with an up-and-coming artist out of the Bronx named KRS-One and Boogie Down Productions. Now, MC Shan and KRS-One went back-to-back on record. KRS One made a record called The Bridge Is Over. You can't sound like Shan or the one Marley. Because Shan and Marley Marl am a rhyming like the gay. Yeah. Picking up the mic, my name don't know what to say. It was a response to a record that MC Shan made called The Bridge. The monument is right in your face, sitting looking for a while. The bridge. The bridge. The bridge. Once MC Shan heard the diss record and got a wind of it, he created another diss record for KRS One called Kill That Noise. Now, most people say that KRS One won that battle. But if you ask MC Shan, I can guarantee you he has something else to say about that. Now, that battle between KRS One and MC Shan was a pivotal point in both of their careers. Because MC Shan's career kind of dwindled down after that. He wasn't as popular as he was before the battle. And Karis won, caught a lot of popularity and made a lot more records and music afterwards. Now, they say they might be friends today. Who knows? That is all for now. I'm your host, James Craze Billings. And this is Hip Hop You Don't Stop. And right now we're covering the most influential rap battles. Until we come back with a couple of more battles. Y'all can definitely follow us, subscribe, and hit that button. Until then, crazy say peace.